It's on my hand. I have the giggles right now. I don't know how to do an intro. Hi! I'm so glad you're here. Right before I started filming, I discovered that one of my pictures fell off of my art wall. I didn't notice it looking at the wall, and I didn't even notice it looking at my desk where it landed, but I saw all of these little black fuzzies on my desk, and I was like, where did those come from? And then I noticed the picture frame on the desk, and then I looked up, and it fell and hit my little soot sprite, which is made of yarn. So yeah, my Jack and Sally fell down, and the frame is broken, so I'm gonna have to fix the frame and hang it back up with some stronger tape, which tells me it's only a matter of time before all of the others fall down. <laughs> so far I think four of them have fallen off the wall and I've put them back up again and the glass hasn't broken on a single one. So far so good. But then I noticed when I was changing out the letter board it also took down my little beaded embroidery off the wall. So now I'm just wondering what else has happened that I just haven't noticed yet. <laughs> It's Pride Month! And as I'm sure we all know, Pride is not limited to one month, and it should be approached with all of the lovely things listed here on my mug. But another thing that comes with Pride Month is rainbows. And as I've stated in the past, I love rainbows. So I thought it would be fun to build a rainbow this month with a little mini series where the project is themed to a specific color. So to kick off this rainbow, we are going to start with red. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while now, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to finally just do it. I want to make some strawberry pillows. I'm all about the strawberries this year. I made a strawberry sleeved dress. I made these this year. I made Pearl a little strawberry chew toy. I'm not sure why I'm so into strawberries this year, but I am, so we're just gonna run with it. Have I ever made pillows before? Yes, yes I have. We're not necessarily running into new territory for this mini series. We are just having some fun with color and making some fun stuff. So the plan is just to make pillows shaped like strawberries. Uh, that's it. Let's go. Because it's Pride Month and we are building a rainbow, let's talk about the significance of each color on the Pride flag. According to the Google Arts and Culture page dedicated to the history of the Pride flag, designer, drag queen, artist, and activist Gilbert Baker was tasked with creating, quote, vivid, joyous iconography for the LGBTQ community. The main design became a striped flag because Baker was inspired originally in 1976 by the many flags flying due to the U.S. bicentennial celebrations. Each color on the flag represents something meant to show the diversity of the LGBTQIA community. Today's color, red, signifies life. I'll also include the link to this page in the caption if you want to read more. Done. These might be bigger than my pumpkin pillows that I made last year. And what's fun about these is it's about, mm, I would say 95% secondhand. I think I'm just gonna go strawberry picking here and <laughs> And they are adorable and I love them so much. <laughs> I know technically like a third of it is green, but most of it is red. So day one of the rainbow series is complete. I know everything is rainbow this month. Everything is rainbow even from corporations that don't really support the LGBTQIA plus community. I just want to remind everybody to support LGBTQIA plus creators, shops, businesses, and people. Just people in general. So be supportive and be kind this month and every month because the community doesn't just exist in the month of June. Pride does not stop on July 1st. We are going to continue this rainbow series, however, because I love rainbows and I love pride. So if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see what we're doing next on Orange Day and everything else for this month, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post, hit the notification bell. And YouTube will let you know. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to end the video now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.
Bye.